Can I punch him in the face? Why? Look what he's doing to my bench. Is he doing that on purpose? Yes. To make you mad because you don't like a lot of tools on your bench? So my work deals with uh, human failings and in particular our inability to uh, find harmony and unity with nature. But at the same time, it's also about our deep desire and our need and longing to become one with the natural world. And I use glass recently mostly as a canvas. The transparency of the material gives me all these different layers to work with. So I engrave, I carve, I enamel, I also add paper. And through this uh, process, I reach kind of depths I'm looking for. They call beauty berries. It looks really, really good. And I like them as to use them as connections between pieces. I mean, for me, it's very unusual to work in this um, environment and with a team because usually I work in my own studio by myself. I, I don't really rely on help so much. So it is a big change, but it's also very exciting to, to see the possibilities you can do with, with hot sculpted glass or with blown components. Glass has definitely limitations, so you have to always have this in your mind as well, but it's, it's a great goal to push these limitations far, as far as possible or as far as you are able to do it. I love them. They're very elegant. It's just a beautiful shape. Now the fun starts, what to put inside. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, uh, the, the glass blower mentality, they always want to be perfect. But what's for them perfect is for me maybe not always so interesting, and what's for them not so perfect, it's for me perfect. So I find this always very exciting in the hot shop to see that happen. That's nice. My deepest wish is to create pieces who are kind of sensitive, at least for me. I, I don't expect that the, the audience sees it right away, but I do hope so. And with the idea of maybe pushing us to look at ourselves and our own identity and how we see ourselves in, in the universe. So that's always my goal, at least.